Hey there, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. For the past few weeks, I was getting a lot of requests to make a detailed course on After Effects. And finally, here it is. All the lessons of this course will be available on YouTube and by the end of this course, you will be able to create cool motion designs and 2D animations that you can be proud of. But one thing that you have to remember is that just watching YouTube videos won't help. You have to spend some time practicing. And also, if you want me to include any specific topics in this series, then do let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to include all those topics in the series. And that being said, this is the lesson one of the series where we're going to start with the After Effects basics. And we're mainly going to focus on the After Effects workspace. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it. When you open up After Effects for the first time, this is the screen that you are going to see. Here you will see the list of the projects that you have recently worked on and here there are a few options. We will not bother about this at the moment, so let's close the screen. Let's start with Workspace. In After Effects or in any other Creative Cloud softwares, Workspace is basically the combination of different panels. If you want to select a Workspace, you can either select any of these options over here. here we have few more options or you can go to windows workspace and you get all the options for the workspace currently i am in all panels by the way if your all panels workspace is not looking exactly same as mine you can go over here in windows again then workspace and here from here you can reset the workspace to last saved layout and it should reset to the default settings now let's check out the other options in workspace go to windows workspace so let's select animation you can see how the combination of the panels have changed now again go to a different workspace let's select color you can again see the few of the panels have changed again let's click on default you can again see the combination of panel again changed just few of the panels are common in almost all the workspace that is this composition window project panel and the timeline now we're going to cover more about this in the next lesson where we're going to cover the most commonly used panels and the user interface for After Effects in more details. Now let's get back to all panels again. Now we're going to check out how to create your own workspace and save it in After Effects. So in After Effects, you can create your own workspace according to your requirement. For example, I want this panel to be docked over here. So all you have to do is click and drag it outside right now you can see that some of the regions are highlighting and if i bring it and bring it at this edge this edge is highlighting if i release the click it's going to get docked over here for example i want this character panel to get docked over here we can do that as well just you need to remember is that you have to release exactly at the point where this blue box is highlighting now it's docked over here for example i want motion sketch to dock it with mask interpolation we can do that as well right now we can switch between both the panels like this we want this to be docked over here we can do that as well right now we have a division between these two sections and just in case you tried it and messed up your workspace then again go to windows workspace and reset all panels to saved layout. Now we are going to create our own workspace according to our requirement. In the right hand side, there are lots of panels over here. We don't need all of it. So we are going to close the ones we don't need. So if you select, you are going to expand the panel. If you right click on it, you get the option to close the panel. Click on it and it's closed. Same, we are going to do it with the panels that we don't need. Well, we need the paragraphs panel and the character panel, also the align panel, we're going to keep it. We don't need the libraries panel and we also don't need this audio panel and the info. Now we will have paragraph and the character panel in the separate section. Effects control panel is again in the separate section. And let's dock the align panel with the effects control panel. So the properties panel is a new update in After Effects 2023. In case you are using After Effects 2022 or older versions, the properties panel will not be available there. So now we're going to add two more panels in our workspace. One is the preview panel. Another one is the effects control panel. Now, if you have closed a panel by mistake or some panel is missing from your workspace, then just go to Windows. And here you get all the options for the panels in After Effects. Right now, we need 
the preview panel click on it and it's going to pop up over here and then we are going to add the effects control panel so search for it here is the effects control panel and here it's added now i want the properties panel to be docked over here separately and now we are going to scale down the panel so from these edges you can pull in or pull out to scale up or scale down the panels let's scale up this character panel a little bit and also this fx control panel all right so this is going to be our workspace going forward in case we need extra panels we're going to add it later on now we're going to save this as a preset so go to windows go to workspace and save as a new workspace name the workspace and press ok now your workspace is saved as a preset you can see over here it's selected now if i switch to a different workspace and now we want to get back to our own workspace so here you have the option but you can also go to windows again workspace and from here you can search for your own workspace here we have my first workspace click on it we got back to our own workspace all right so that is it for this video in the next lesson we are going to learn everything about the user interface in after effects so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down below i would be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye